This is question one from the November 2018 Standard Level Mathematics e assessment for MIP. Um, so if I just have a look, we're going to start off with question one. And we've got an example of a mathematical clock. And instead of having the regular numbers, um, we've got mathematical um, operations. So 24 divided by 12. 2 gives us 12, 1 cubed gives us 1, 4 times what number equals 8, 4 times 2 is 8, so this is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and so on. So we've got a diagram below of which we have draggable values and we have to put them into the correct place. So let's have a look at each of these individually. Um, first off, let's look at the first one. So it's easier rather than, it's easier to just pick these out and try and determine where they should go. So let's look at the absolute value of 4 times cos of 120. So we have got a graphics calculator, we have a calculator, not a graphics calculator, that we can use. And this is the Desmos one. Uh, this is what it will look like in your e-assessment and um, they've gotten rid of the TI-83 I think it was and um, the calculator going forward from the May 2021 will be the Desmos calculator. So if I put this in, I've got 4 cos 120 and I get negative 2 and remembering that these signs absolute value tells us, okay, how far is negative 2 from 0? Well, it is 2 from 0. So this is going to go in, this is 12, this is 1, this is 2. And I'll use a different color so we can actually see. Perhaps I'll use red. So absolute value of 4 cos 120. And just to also show, actually, I can do, if I go to function, ABS stands for absolute value. So that means we've got the two lines, so that's ABS. And if I put in R4, cos 120, it will actually spit out the answer as positive 2, which is quite nice. Okay, now we've got 10x, looks like, to the power of 0. So any number to the power of 0 is 1, so it's just 10 times 1, which is 10. So there's 9, so this is 10. So remember, any number to the power of 0 is 1. 5 to the power of 0 is 1. 1,000 to the power of 0 is 1. x to the power of 0 is also 1. Okay, going on, let's look at this one. We've got 18x plus 9 divided by 6x plus 3. And looking at this, I can take 9 out as a common factor on the top. 9 times what is 18? 9 times 2x is 18x. 9 times 1 is 9. I could take I've got a 3 and a 6, so I could take 3 out as a common factor on the bottom. 3 times 2x, 3 2s are 6, 3 two times 2x is 6x, 3 times what is 3? 1. So I've got 2x plus 1 on the top, 2x plus 1 on the bottom. So that will cancel with that. And I'm left with 9 on the top, 3 on the bottom, 9 divided by 3 is... So this one is going to go in here. So that's 18x plus 9 divided by 6x plus 3. Let's see if we can use a different color, something that'll stand out of it. And then the last one, there we go, 3x minus 4 is 
is equal to 17. I need to solve this for x, so add 4 to both sides, because I want to get the 3x by itself. So 3x is equal to 17 plus 4 is 21. Divide both sides by 3. I get the x by itself. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And so this is 6, this is 7, so... x minus 4 equals 17. And yeah, so if you have any questions on that, just let me know.